Hey guys, Graphite here, and today we're going to be looking at how to convert text and shapes to curves. So, let's start. So we've got an A4 page up here, and let's make it landscape. And we'll start by making a simple line. So let's go up to our two-point line tool, hold down control to make it straight. And up here, our second icon from the top on the left-hand side, we've got our shape tool. And as you can see now, we've got this yellow dotted line going through our black one, and it also has two triangles at either end. If you look at my cursor, it's changed, and there's a dotted rectangle in the sort of bottom right corner of it. And if I now hover over my line, you can see it'll change to a wavy line. That shows we're about to select it. And let's click somewhere just in the center. Now this dot appears, and a load of options come up on this bar at the top. Now what we need to do is click this button here, which is Convert to Curves. And once we click it, you can see these other two triangles pop up facing inward. And from here we can click anywhere on our shape and drag it up and down to manipulate it in lots of different ways. Alternatively, you can use the triangles at the ends. If you click it once, you can see these uh, blue dotted lines appear and you can you know, manipulate the shape using those by clicking and dragging them. They're a bit more precise. It's all down to what you prefer. You can also, if you select somewhere on the shape, click this button up here, which will break the curve. This will split it into two individual parts. And if we select one part and press delete, you can see it keeps half of it where we made the break on the curve. Uh, this also works if you click anywhere on the shape, say up here, and double click, you can see a new node appears. We can use this as sort of a pivot point so we can manipulate the shape from here as well as the ends of the shape. And this makes it really easy to manipulate it in any way, shape or form you want. And to get rid of it, simply double click and it'll revert back to if it was just following the same pattern it had before, but without that node. Stick one here. We can bend it. Now if I was to bring this down here, save it for later, we can now make an ellipse. Now if I go up here to my select tool, I can make it bigger. And now if I select my shape tool, you can see the bar doesn't change. All we have is this square up here. What you need to do to convert it to curves is press Control and Q. And now we see our familiar blue triangles and squares appear, and our bar at the top. So, same things apply when you click on a node. All of the available ones here will pop up. So we can drag it and bend it and reshape it. If we were to delete this section here between these two nodes, and now we've got a gap, you can use this tool up here to close the curve. It'll put a straight line through the gap we made and connect it up. Alternatively, if we undo that and we click on our node here, we can also join it by dragging it down to the node at the end. You can see this happens. It'll sort of snap to it. And if you let go, it'll connect the line up and we can still bend it. And if we were to fill it and say blue, you can see it will treat it as a connected shape. However, if we were to just leave it, you wouldn't be able to fill it in because it's not a completed shape. So now we can delete this. Those are pretty much the simplest things you can do with curves, um, but it's still very useful. So now if we make some text, I'll show you how to bend it to this line. So if we type, hello YouTube, and make it biggish. Now, you can see these crosshairs in the middle, these little X. If I right click, hold down on our text, and drag it. And as you can see, when I hover over the line, this sort of circle comes up with these sort of crosshairs on it. Uh, it's quite big. If I then let go on the line, you can see we've got all these options. And now I can click Fit Text to Path. And as you can see, it's a bit glitchy, so I'm just going to zoom in and out a bit. And 
we've got our text bent to our path. Now if we want to move it along this path, or up or down, we can use this red diamond here. If we left click it, and then drag with our left click held down, you can see we can bend it across our line. So we can just simply bend it straight across the line, whoop, and we can move it up and down, above and below. And these red lines that appear just show you the center and the edges of the line. Also, if you try and pack too much into the end of a line or a shape, it'll just bunch all the letters up at the end. So you've got to make sure all the letters are easy to see. You can also simply do this with an ellipse. So if we right click, drag onto our line, fit text to path, and now you can see we can bring it up and down in and outside of our ellipse. And that's quite nice to be able to do and becomes really useful in all sorts of situations. One last thing with curves, if you want to sort of create your own font, then you can do that by getting your text. Let's delete this. And, and selecting your tool and pressing Control Q which will convert text to curves and now you can see all of these nodes come up where the text has been sort of bent into shape and from here you can actually drag things out and make your own sort of fonts you know you can edit fonts and design your own text so that's just a little extra thing so if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like down below and a comment if you want to see more make sure to share these videos so other people can see how it's done. Thank you very much for watching, and see ya!